Hello and welcome to this new series of videos in which I want to explore what it means to be an amateur astronomer. Now, there are a whole host of videos already available on the internet that show you how to use telescopes, how to look into the sky and do astronomy, the things you'll see, the things you can do. Uh, the purpose of these videos that I'm going to do isn't to try and do any of that sort of stuff. I'm going to say those videos exist and the people who have done those videos do them a damn sight better than I ever will and will probably teach you an awful lot better than I ever would. So I've always wanted to have a telescope and I'm very lucky now that I do have one. Uh, and so I wanted to sort of chart the journey of what it's like to start out with a telescope, what you can and can't see, uh, what this actually means just for a normal everyday person. Um, we live in a golden age at the moment for uh, amateur astronomers in many ways. Uh, advances in manufacturing techniques and mass production and global supply chains have meant that there are now many telescopes available at a reasonable price that an amateur astronomer like myself could go out and buy and actually see something worthwhile or potentially see something worthwhile in the sky. Of course for many of us we look up at the stars and we look at the sky and, and that's it. You maybe other than seeing the moon and seeing the different phases of the moon the sky appears to be pretty much the same each night. But obviously, anybody who's looked at the sky on a regular basis and thought about it sees that these, the stars move around in the sky and things change over time. And of course, obviously with the internet age, uh, as mentioned, there's no shortage of information out there as to how to go and look into the sky, what you might see, etc. Uh, and no shortage of guides of what to do. So what does this really mean for most of us? Well. It now means that actually for an average person, looking up at the sky and finding what's there and knowing where to search in the sky to see certain things has become something that's highly accessible, something that anybody can go and do. Uh, but in reality, what will you actually see? Uh, how easy is it? is it really to go and look into the sky? You know, we've all seen amazing documentaries on TV that uh, chart the planets and the solar system and various galaxies in the universe. Many of us, especially if you're interested in astronomy, will have looked on to the internet and seen wonderful pictures that people have produced of the planets, of you know, other galaxies and other great sites that are out there. But what does this really mean as, as somebody who's never done astronomy before, who just wants to do this on a casual basis, who doesn't have all the time in the world to to spend doing this hobby, who doesn't have all the money in the world to go and spend on buying equipment. Well, what I'd like to think is that at the end of this video series, or on an ongoing basis, depending on how long this series goes on for, uh, people will be able to look at these things that I've done and the experiences that I have for those that are already into astronomy and have been doing this for some time. I'm sure you'll look at some of these videos and have a little bit of a smirk to yourself and think, yeah, been there, done that. For those that are themselves in the process of starting out in astronomy in a similar sort of time frame to myself, I'm sure that you'll be able to relate to many of the things I go through. And for those that are watching these videos, thinking about potentially taking up uh, astronomy as an amateur, and potentially getting themselves a telescope, I'm hoping this will give you a realistic expectation of what your life is likely to see, the challenges that you are likely to face, and is it something that you actually want to dedicate some time to going and doing? Right. In the true spirit of being open and candid, uh, and just say so that this is such uh, an accurate level of, of where I'm coming from in this adventure, uh, I am not a complete amateur and a complete newbie or new starter in, uh, in astronomy. So I actually started about 11 months ago on this journey. Uh, I had done a lot of research in the past about um, telescopes and what I'd like to do. And so I put a, a telescope that I'd spotted that I thought would be a great way to start uh, onto my Amazon wish list. And uh, I have a wonderful wife who went out and bought me that telescope when she saw that that is what I wanted. Uh, and so I've spent the last 11 months starting this journey uh, into being the amateur astronomer. 
And a few times during that time I've thought about maybe starting this video series and, and thinking about trying to impart my experiences into a format where other people could use some of those in their own journeys or simply look at them, smile, laugh at me, whatever, you know, just see what I'm doing and how things have been. So this is how we got to this series now. But what I intend to do at this stage is to do a few videos going forward from this point that will show you the equipment that I've got, uh, what I started with, uh, what I've amassed during those 11 months, and also to sort of fill in the backstory of, of these first 11 months of the journey as well. For me, will astronomy be a success? Will it be a failure? Who knows? To be honest, uh, I fully expect it'll be somewhere in the middle, just mediocrity. I'm sure I'll see a few things along the way that I think that's amazing and, and take my breath away. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of other occasions where I will actually get quite disappointed and frustrated and, and realise that actually if astronomy and seeing all these wonderful sites that you can see in pictures on the internet was so easy, we'd all be doing it. And obviously we're not. I hope that it be, these videos prove useful to somebody somewhere down the line uh, and that you hopefully will gain something from them or somebody will gain something from them. If you are doing this journey along with me or are thinking about doing this journey, please leave some comments on the videos, leave questions, things you'd like to do, things you'd like to see me possibly try uh, to see how easy they are. If you are an experienced uh, astronomer or have been on this journey yourself, please leave comments that will help me along the way and give me some guidance and maybe uh, stop me from making a few of the mistakes. I hope some of you will uh, avoid making some of the mistakes that I inevitably will make as part of this journey. Uh, again, subscribe, like, and I hope to catch up with you in the next video shortly. Uh, where well, I'll go through the equipment I've got so far and then as I say we'll start to fill the backstory on what I've done during these first 11 months. Uh, so thank you for watching, uh, I hope to catch up with you again very soon. Uh, I believe from what I've seen from a few videos online of other astronomers and stuff that the, uh, the, the true etiquette is to end these videos with a particular phrase. So clear skies and good viewing.